troops in Afghanistan are drawing down, and Marines from the Retrograde and Redeployment in support of Reset and Reconstitution Operations Group, or R4OG, have taken on the responsibility of moving the military's gear out of Afghanistan. I move anything the Marines will require. It's more effective to bring our gear back, and it makes us prepared for whatever comes next. By getting our assets back together, we're logistically catching our breath. R4OG does a thorough search of every piece of equipment that comes through. So we take this gear in from other units. We sort it, we inspect it, we clean it. We box it back up and ship it back to the States or any other base so Marine Corps sites can use them for the next war or the next day's operations. Some of the gear is passed on to the Afghan army to support them taking the lead in combat operations. So the mine rollers we're loading up today are going to be going to the Security Forces Advisory Team for the Afghan National Police. Sometimes if they're slightly damaged to it, we can't use them, but they can still be functional by another military. We give them to some of our allied forces or even to the ANA to reinforce their own logistical support. Corporal Preston knows that his unit is a huge asset in the drawdown process. The military would grind to a halt because people can't move everything by hand. You can't move 40-foot ISO containers with a working party. It's not going to happen. So we're speeding up how quickly we can get out of here as a whole, as an American military. By speeding up the retrograde process, we're going to help reduce casualties as a trickle-down effect. We're saving lives by moving gear in the long term. In the last few months, this unit has shipped home more than $350 million worth of equipment, and they'll continue working hard until the job is finished. Petty Officer Hillary Browning, Camp Leatherneck, Afghanistan.